This is Manansal V. In this episode, I'll show you how Easing works in LumaFusion 5.0. For this tutorial, I will use four examples, all of them of a video sliding from the right. The first example that I'm going to show you how it works is sliding with Easing. The second example is sliding with an overshoot. It passes the right side of the screen and comes back. In the third example, there is a bounce on the right side of the screen. And lastly, I'll show you how to do a frame hold in LumaFusion with easing. Holds the position and then it continues. So let's start editing this video that already contains a sliding without any easing whatsoever. Let's bring the easing graph. As I mentioned in my previous video, it kind of obscures part of the preview. So there's um, and the ability to actually resize the preview and reposition the preview. So we can see what we're doing. Yeah, now we work. And what I like about this preview, by the way, is that it shows the part that it's outside of the frame. See? Okay, before we get started, there's one thing that I want you to notice. Um, in LumaFusion 5.0, position, size, and rotation that used to be together into one set of values, now they are separated. Um, there's the ability to link them together or unlink them as they have, as I have them right now. If you would link them together, whenever you add, a, let's say, a keyframe for position, it would also add a keyframe for size and one for rotation. The second thing that I want to, uh, to notice over here is um, I'm in the middle of two keyframes. As you can see, there's a green area and a green, and a green slider, and a purple area and a purple slider. The green area and the green slider are for easing out from the previous keyframe, keyframe in this case, a keyframe from the left. The purple area is for easing in into the next keyframe, the keyframe on the right. So let me show you a couple of uh, easing settings. Let's start with fast out and slow in. The movement will start fast and then it will slow down as it progresses. It looks like this. You can see that by um, less than a quarter of uh, the total length of the movement it's already more than halfway through so if i play it if i play it now it looks like this it slows down as it progresses the second one is slow out and fast in it looks like this So it will start slow and then it will speed up as it goes. There you go. One thing that I want you to notice before I move on is that um, LumaFusion provides some ease presets. Um, in this case, I'm not using them. I prefer to do it manually. It gives me more feeling to what I'm doing. Okay, let's move to the second example. In this second example, um, by half of the length of the clip, not only we just achieve the right side, but it overshoot like let's say um, 100. So this is how it looks without easing. So let's do some elasticity effect, make the movement a little bit smoother. So once um, it starts bouncing back, it also needs to be elastic, but by the end of the process, I don't want it to end abruptly as it is doing right now. I want to smooth that part as well, so let's do that as well. And this is how it looks. See it again. Awesome. Let's reset everything again. 
So we can move to the next example. In this example, as you remember, the clip is going to slam the right side of the screen and then bounce and then come back. So the idea is that by, let's say, 110, we already got to the right side of the screen. And by 120, it bounced back, like, let's say, by minus 15. So this is how it looks without easing. So um, this works actually the other way around. It accelerates toward the right side of the screen. Let's do that. See how it accelerates. Then it bounces. Let's say something like this. But then when it gets to the uh, peak of the bouncing, we want to basically stop the clip and then slowly move, him into, move it into position. Let's do this. There we go. Let's see how it looks now. Exactly. Let's see it again. Now let's reset everything again for the next example. And let me show you how you do a keyframe hold in uh, Luma Fusion. So once we get to the 15 mark, let's say that we set the value to minus 100 and then we do a keyframe hold which is going to be maintained up to the 115 mark, at which point I will add an additional keyframe that will release the hold. And when you look at it, it looks like this. As you can see, it holds during the period of the keyframe hold. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like, and click on the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.